Hey everyone, so we are in our classwork packet right now. Uh, you should see something that says review lesson one through four. That's what we're going to be working on here today. So um, we're going to do one here together and then we're going to set you free so that you can go ahead and move at your own pace. So um, yeah, this is a lot of what we've been seeing about chopping it up, finding the area of each of them and then adding them up together. So in problem number one here, we've got a shape. OK, that's what we're going to leave it at. It's the shape that's there. So the first thing we have to do is we have to be able to make our cut. So we've got triangles and rectangles. So we talked about stay away from any sort of diagonal. That's really going to cause more problems. So I can see doo -doo 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 -doo. we can make a slice right there. I can also see I can make a slice right there. Hopefully now you can see your two triangles. You got one on the left side and one on the right. And you've got that rectangle that's in the middle. So let's go through this. I'm going to knock out the rectangle first just because it's a little bit more straightforward. Because with the rectangles, I just need to know how tall it is and how wide it is. So uh, a little counting with the pencil would probably help out as well because it's easy to kind of lose track. So one, two, three, four, five. So it is five wide that's there. Um, and then up and down. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, all right? And so it's nine tall. So right away, I got myself an area of 45 for that rectangle. So again, straightforward counting how wide it is, how tall it is. Now with your triangles, remember, with your triangles, we actually do end up making them into your rectangles so you can kind of see it better. So when you look at this, we're going to go up and down. We're going to go over. Yeah, there it is. And remember, we're not going to want all of it. We're only going to want half of it there. Hopefully you did a little bit better job with the coloring there. I'm going to take it out here for a second just so I can count a little bit better. All right. So now I can see it's one, two, three, four wide. And I can see also that it's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine tall, which I should have known that already because the nine's already right there. Anyway, that we're looking at there. Okay, so go back again. One, two, three, four. I lost track. That's why you probably want to write it down as you're doing it. Um, we got our nine that's there. So nine times four is your 36. But wait a second. We don't want all of it. We only want half of it. If you want your calculator, I don't know. I don't care. It's all right. Half of 36, that gets you to an 18 that we're working on. Okay, so I got one more triangle over here. So again, we are viewing it as a rectangle. If I find the area of that rectangle, you know it, chop it in half. So there we go. So one, two, three, four. Nice. It's still going to be four wide. I already know it's nine. I'm not making that mistake twice again. Four times nine, 36. You can make it better. Four, three, all right, yeah. Um, divide by two, there's your 18. So that's another 18. So we're going to add them on up together. Uh, the 18 plus the 45 plus the 18. Let's see. Uh, 36, 70, 81. Yeah, 81 for your answer. That's there. So that's what we're after. Again, chopping them up, you're going to see rectangles and triangles that are here. Now, uh, one more thing before we kind of kind of let you kind of move on your own. Um, in problem three down here, there's three separate answers you're going to get because there are the three separate shapes. So do keep that in mind. In problem number four, we're going to slice this one up together. And there's something I want you to watch for here. Very similar from before. I got a slice right there. I got a triangle. If I slice right here, I've got myself a rectangle. Now, the issue, though, is look at this guy that's over here on the left. That's not a triangle or a rectangle. So I am going to have to make another cut. Now, we did talk about how we always like to go the same direction. Sometimes we're forced that we can't. So I'm actually going to have to cut this guy to the left there. So what you should see is that small triangle that's there, 
All right, we should see a rectangle that's there. You should see another triangle over here, and then finally one more big old rectangle that's in the middle of it. So in this case, we've got four different shapes, two of them being rectangles, two of them being triangles. So again, keep making those triangles into the rectangles. Don't forget to chop. And that's really all that we're after there. We're going to have answers there for you um, so that you can check them as you go. And um, yeah, you're on your merry little way. All right. We'll see you guys tomorrow.